First combines Ironman events with distance swimming. It wouldn't work for most athletes because paddling any sort of craft builds bulk, which isn't the shape most swimmers desire. But he's no regular athlete and has vowed to continue to compete in his favourite sport until the Australian Surf Lifesaving Championships finish in March. I think it's a good balance for me, you know, leading into the Olympics. It's great mentally, it's good physically. I think cross training is an important element to, you know, swimming. It, it keeps your mind fresh and uh, I think that's important. He's hoping the cross training will also help prepare for his 10 kilometre open swim in the London Olympics. Basically I've got just over 20 weeks then to concentrate on what I need to do to make sure that I go to an Olympic Games and, and, and swim and represent Australia and uh, you know give it my all. Hurst is confident his love of the board and surf ski will not compromise his chances of winning an Olympic medal. I remember leading into the last World Championships, our Olympic trials, I had kept on my craft and I, I think because I had done that, having that cross training was very important. Hurst is the only Australian male swimmer who's qualified for the 10 kilometre swim at next year's Olympics. Glenn Palmer, ABC News.